McLaren MP4 II was one of the cars that put McLaren back on the map. Nicky Lauda won the 1984 championship in it by half a point over Alain Prost. Now, this isn't really from my era, but Giorgio, you look upon it fondly. Uh, what do you remember about it? It was a wonderful car. The, the basic car of the car was the MP4 one, the first car with a carbon ch chassis. All the car was made in carbon fiber and the chassis made by Hercules in America. And this car was very important also because, as you see, the shape of the car is quite different. The side pods are different. But the most important stuff was the first car where to have a Coca-Cola shape in the back. So it was a quite innovative car. It had the tag engine in the back designed by Porsche. It was one of the more reliable engines on the grid that year. Uh, there were a lot of engine failures in the early turbo days, but this was a fantastic piece of kit in the car. In fact, it was the first time to have a very big integration between the chassis people, the engineer of McLaren, so John Bardan, and the people from Porsche, Hans Metzger, the chief engineer followed the instruction of uh, John Bannon to allow to have all the installation of the engine as McLaren wanted. And John Bannon gave instruction to the Porsche engineer to build the engine to cope with the shape of this car. And the Coca-Cola shape was very important. The Coke bottle is the tapering of the bodywork at the rear making it as narrow as possible between the rear wheels. By doing that, the engineers were able to tempt the air to flow around the side pods and into that tapered section, rather than into the rear wheel's path. This minimizes the drag produced by the wheels, and also helps to improve diffuser performance by boosting the difference in pressure between the top and bottom surfaces. The Coke bottle has become an intrinsic part of F1 car design ever since. And then we have to see this uh, winglet on the side of the rear wing, because at the end of the season, the Federation decided to ban this solution. And then they changed that, didn't they, Giorgio, to a much more simple design here? Yes, this is given by the rule of the Federation that banned all this uh, solution to have this flip-up and the rear wing much simpler. And this was the change from 1984, Lauda's championship victory, to 1985, where Alain Prost won.